Hi friends, welcome back. As promised, here is the wedding vlog. I have not watched this since Alexandra posted it, so let's um, play and see what we can react to. It is vow renewal day. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous day. Like we couldn't have gotten more lucky um, with the weather. Spray tan looks amazing. Like the color could not have come out better. Uh, I got my coffee, my frozen coffee. That's the only coffee I can drink frozen coffee is my jam and we're just like kind of cleaning up getting like the house ready since you know the caterers will be in here my um hairstylist and just like people will kind of be in and out so we still have the house looking fresh because we've been focused on the outside all this time oh my god she looks such a mess doesn't she she looks like a real mess and her she's so bloated that her eyes are tiny um but yeah we have everything everything ready to go this morning Yara and i got up and just kind of made sure everything back where was good there's a little morning dew that we kind of just wiped off but we're ready. We are ready. So whew, let it begin. Got the bouquets here and ready to go and a little flower girl flower petals. <laughs> Can't even talk. And then I ended up hot glue gunning um, this garland on top of the sign because I was draping it before and it just kept falling off. So uh, this is perfect. We got that good. This is a little hairpiece for me. Matching boutonniere for Yar. Super cute. Charging batteries. Gabby's going to do some blogging for us. And uh, yeah, time to get my shower on. All right, I just showered. Yara just went and did a quick Target pickup. Um, pick oh my God, who goes to Target on their wedding day? Well, wedding renewal day. What on earth could they possibly have picked up from Target? I a couple of citronella candles for like the high top um, cocktail hour tables because we didn't have anything for them. Oh, Jesus. And also like it's a little buggy, but we also have like these tiki torches with like the mosquito repellent fluid. So hopefully that should help enough. Um, so got that. I already told you guys I hot glue into that. I am still like loving this hand color guys Like it came out just like perfect. Wash my hair. Does she tan her neck? Her neck is not tanned It's visibly different in color. Here, gotta get it dry for when my hairstylist comes at two This is like my little last minute project. It's not taking very long at all um, Just doing the little cookie bags. Got a bunch of these like gourmet chocolate chunk cookies. They're actually really good uh, From Price Chopper. Of course, they're really good. She's probably had half a packet and then these little bags from Etsy and this little basket is from Target so hopefully I can sit a third row here but oh I just love this little touch it's so cute these bags oh my god <laughs> this is our portable like our deluxe porta potty <laughs> all right here we go don't worry about me guys I'm just in my porta potty <laughs> it has the radio it has AC it's like beautiful sorry guys I'm skipping this I don't need to see what her porta potty looks like so irritating. Because Lily's a florist, so I'll take it. <laughs> no, these are these are really good. Like these, like your friends, are, your friend, your best friend is a florist. Why on earth wouldn't she get her friend to do her flowers for her? They're nice faux flowers. Um, I think it's too much greenery on the outside. I think it's just a little bit dull. But you've got a best friend who's a florist, and you get faux flowers. Like peonies, right? These are ranunculus. Oh, I don't. They mean. look like they, and these are peonies. <laughs> they look like the real thing. These are roses. And they look like that's my mom's face. and then that huge one is mine oh my god <gasps> shut the f*** looks <laughs> yeah she had to get a huge one because if she got a small one would have made it look 10 times bigger that is a huge bouquet but again she's width wise she's even bigger than that so she probably did need a big one it looks so good i've never that's seen someone so hold it so pretty yay now make sure when you're holding it you angle it down okay okay for thanks like this part to be the mm. part that's my florist best friend god bless she brought me a pink drink and flower another drink what's that her third one they're so beautiful they are beautiful flowers so something like that she could have had to but no she wanted to go for the boring faux flowers with no color Oh my, these are gorgeous. Like, I'm, I got it from the store. I always get them. I'm truly obsessed. Mm -hmm. And she brought champagne. We're gonna get our drink on while we get ready. Yes. And we're having leftover Chipotle. But oh my god, these are seriously the prettiest flowers I've ever gotten. Like, the bouquet is just perfect. Nice. Yay! Yeah. Oh, here we go, guys. It's all starting. Once you got here, you were the first piece of the puzzle. Um, did you also see that freaking porta potty, Lil? I haven't been in it. You gotta go inside. It's crazy. Oh my god. It's so it's <laughs> air conditioned. It has like music playing. It's like bougie. It's like a wild ride. All right, we just did a little tour. Drink number four. We're gonna make some mimosas with the champagne little brats and go get glam. I already did a tutorial on my makeup. If you guys want, I will link it. All right, makeup is done. First mimosa is almost gone. 
I'm feeling really good about the makeup. You guys, I hope it's not too yellow this time. I had to I think her makeup is nice, but it does not match the rest of her body. She's forgotten to tan her neck. Um, completely different. I think that looks really, really bad when, when you look at it like this. I think it looks really bad. At least the photographer can touch it up. But in her video, she's still going to be two colors. To, my wear didn't come in from it's too pale. Wear, a different shade for my double wear and it wasn't in here in time so i used this dior i don't think it's too yellow it's definitely not she should have just bronzed up more like as red undertone because you guys told me i need to go more red undertone but it didn't come in time so i'm pretty happy with how it came out I'm a little nervous my hairstylist just got here here we are with my girl heather hi everyone my girl she's hooking me up with the wedding day hair you already know my Lux babies are just the best and we're doing curls before we do the updo we uh curled or got the first set of curls done and blow drying in front of the ac and she even <laughs> said she's like when we move away from the ac if you want i could put your feet in a bucket of ice water <laughs> my god is she that hot that she needs a bucket of ice for her feet okay cool is that a thing that's a thing you do right sometimes like yeah, for real you'd be like you're so excited so your like internal temperature is higher yeah than it normally is anyways <laughs> nobody it. wants to be sweating on the wedding day no. yeah but not only that i mean weight has a lot to do with that especially with the makeup done before i'm like so nervous about it but um yeah we're doing good we're nice and cool um having a, another mimosa and <laughs> thriving literally there's there is no neck happening there she's a head on shoulders <laughs> my little flower girl oh my god you guys look picture perfect oh my god you couldn't have done it any more perfect oh. yep. all right the hair is done it is so beautiful i will link my salon below of course it's just me or her right eyelash is not put on properly when I say right eyelash, looking at her, it's her right. But if you're her, it's her left. Looks a bit wonky. Um, I need to fix my makeup. Because <laughs> I sweat a little bit. Yeah, it looks really wonky. So I'm going to touch it up. The caterer is here, the DJ's here. Um, cake's being set up. Like, everything's kind of happening now. It's 4 o'clock. I don't know how it got to be 4 o'clock already. Ceremony starts at 5. So this is the last vlog clip I'll do. Gabby is going to take over and be vlogging for me the rest of the night. <laughs> Lily's vacuuming. Poor Gabby. She has been coming in clutch today. She's been here for a few hours and she's just been like, yeah. she's been basically my wedding planner, <laughs> organizing everything. So shout out. Um, so yeah, okay. I'll see you guys during the wedding, I guess. Hello, everyone. It's Al's wedding day and I'm. seeing other people in her video. I think he was the one that turned up a day early. Oh gee, that little baby's cute. Cute girl.
I, I can't fathom. I would. I just can't fathom how she's wearing that dress with no sleeves. I can't. I'm not saying it needs to be a full sleeve, but like you know, some of those quarter sleeves that well, even the ones that drape down just around where you just need them to cover what you need to cover. We take delight in sharing today's very special occasion with you. One year ago today, you both eloped due to the pandemic, and today we are here to celebrate your marriage among your loved ones. I want to say a few words. My God, her arm is so big, she cannot even put it down along her side properly. Can you guys notice that? She, she just looks like she's a robot. About the finding of love because it's a journey that occurs through personal contact. I always say to myself, how out of all the people in the world do two people find each other? However, they meet the first time, they develop a like. One person says to themselves, I think I like that aspect of the other person. So I think I'd like to meet that person again. And they meet that person again, and they begin to develop more likes. I like this, I like that about them. They meet again, and eventually the likes become the words in their mind. Not to mention that this has been filmed from the completely wrong angle. I think I'm in love. And then the I think I'm in love becomes I am in love. I love that person. So the next step, which is the important point, is to tell that person that. That's a very important point. Will you continue to have Yarman as your husband and continue to live in this marriage? I will. <laughs> will you affirm your love for him? And will you love, honor, and cherish him in sickness and in health? And will you buy him everything that he wants? For richer or poorer, for better or worse, saving all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. Thank you. Yarman, will you continue to have Alexandra as your wife and continue to live in this marriage? I will. Do you reaffirm your love for her? And will you love, honor, and cherish her in sickness and in health? For richer or poorer, for better or for worse, forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. I do. I ask, well, yeah, I mean, the health thing might be sooner than you know. I ask that you each remember to continue to cherish each other as special and unique individuals, and that you each respect the thoughts and ideas of one another. And most of all, be able to forgive each other, not hold grudges against one another, live each day in love with each other, always being there to give love, comfort, and refuge to each other in good times and bad. Alexandra and Yarman, today you have renewed the promises and vows you made to each other on your elopement one year ago. You have symbolized the renewal of the marriage union by the joining of hands, the taking of vows, and wearing the wedding ring. <laughs> it is with pleasure that I conclude the ceremony of renewing the vows of marriage that join you and binds you as husband and wife. Please celebrate this renewal of vows with a kiss. <laughs> First and only time I've seen him giving her any affection, I think. Apart from another staged kiss.
They are married again. Pete Matt. And it's my sister. Oh, that's her husband now. And his sister. Maddie. But they're married again. And it's cocktail hour now. So, you know, we're having margaritas. Because, you know, the elite drink. And they're taking pictures. And it's just been so much fun so far. So I can't wait to see how the rest of the day goes. Alexandra and Yarvin, I am absolutely tickled pink to be here today on your real wedding day. I'm so happy you were able to... I think she looks pretty. Really pretty. I don't like that hair colour much on her, but... I think she looks really pretty. To celebrate with your friends and family and have an actual wedding since you had to be here last year. So congratulations and many years to come. Congrats, Alex and me. Congrats, cheers. Congratulations, Alex. Hey, Alex and Yarman, congratulations. We love you and we hope that you're together forever and we're happy that you found love. I have to say his side is really elegant and classy. I dress really well. With each other. Okay? Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's awkward. That's just awkward. I heard just sticking up at the back, someone should have fixed it for her. And she's still touching her fucking boobs. She's still touching her boobs. One year, Mr. and Mrs. Rodriguez. Yeah, it's our one year anniversary. <laughs> you did say that. We woke up and he said happy anniversary. And I'm like, wait, what? Uh, it was like six in the morning or something. It was. Like yeah, we got remarried. I, I don't know why I was so nervous during the first year. She's sitting down. She's still out of breath. We were both so nervous. You guys killed it up there. Did we seem normal? You seem so in love. And I'm sorry that... The dress is, it's the top of it is pretty, but she needs a bra. Um, and honestly, it was like cool. Okay, cool. All right. So now we got to eat. We have Dominican filavas. Looks beautiful. Yay! Shout Woo! out to my camera girl. <laughs> okay, guys. So we've had dinner now. We're hanging out. And toasts are coming up. And we're having drinks. Toasts are coming up. And then we're going to be dancing the night. I'm Gabby. Um, I've been lucky enough to call out my best friend for the last nine years, and I'm so happy to be here today celebrating her marriage to Yarman. When I sat down to write this speech, I didn't know what I wanted to say. I knew what I wanted to say, but I didn't know how to say it. <laughs> Apparently, it's still happening now. Um, which for everyone that knows me here, it's surprising because I tend to talk a whole lot. If I tried to tell you about all the adventures, the laughs, the tears, and the life milestones we've been through here together, then I'd be here all day. So I thought I'd just share about a year that I'll always remember and is very close to my heart. The year of about halfway through 2018 to 2019, until Alex met Yarman, was our year, as we called it. <laughs> as, I look back, as we look back now, it was truly a rebuilding year, but we found ourselves again, and I... All right, guys, I think I'm going to forward this friend, bit. ...but another sister, from nights on the couch, watching Friends, Girls' Nights, Friendsgiving... He meant to be that back now I never would have thought my first lately. And Alice and I have been together. Like party games. We've been crying all night. You should be crying all night now. Come on. Alan and I have known each other since seventh grade when we met with Peter theater class. I just wanted to start off by saying I'm so thankful to be here with all of you today. Celebrating this beautiful Stop it. <laughs> they have not had an easy year, you know. They had to cancel their wedding like three times. Oh, his family is just so cute. They really, really are. And there were so many times when Al would text me and just say, like, he's so upset. I don't think this is going to happen. I don't know what we're going to do. And now we're all here today. And it's such a beautiful day. It's so <laughs> Al and I basically grew up together, having known each other for almost two decades now. And we've been through a lot together, and that's only made our friendship stronger over the years. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> and because we're so close, we both have a tendency to be slightly protective of each other, especially when it comes to dating. Awkward. 
so, so awkward. Did anyone else feel awkward? I have secondhand emb embarrassment from seeing that. It just looks awkward. I'm really not saying this to be cruel, but it just, it really does look awkward. Anytime one of us dated a guy that the other one wasn't thrilled about, it didn't remain a secret for long. <laughs> but then Alex met Yarmin. I remember when she texted me. Oh my God. Immediately, <laughs> immediately after their first date, and she told me how much fun she had, how kind, sweet, and handsome Yarmin was that she instantly felt comfortable with him and she felt like she could truly be herself with him. I could feel her giddiness and excitement through her texts. I knew in my heart as soon as I talked to her that night that she had better sold me. I vividly remember... Awkward. Every time he puts his hands around her waist, I just feel awkwardness. ...telling her that she had met the one and she told me that she'd think I might be right. Fast forward to today, and we are all here celebrating this amazing couple. I am so beyond thankful and happy that these two have found each other, and that I couple. I am so beyond thankful and happy that these two. Have that that hump on the back of her neck. That's also coming back. I mean, I don't think it ever went anywhere, but um, it's coming back with a vengeance at the moment as well. And that I've been able to witness their love and devotion to one another unfold over the past few years. They complement each other perfectly. And I know that together there is nothing new. I think that is the longest speech I've ever, ever heard at a wedding. <laughs> Alex and Yarmin. I am so excited to see what married life has in store for both of you. May it be nothing short of beautiful and incredible, because you both deserve it. Cheers to the happy couple. We did it! Wedding was a success. It was so much fun. Oh, Gabby. She's missed, isn't she? I can't wait for all of you to see this. And I'm gonna try to provide she's a busy lady. Hold on. One moment. All right, guys, I found her. It's the end of the night. My makeup's totally off. Hey, we had so much fun. Your wedding was amazing. Thank Beautiful you for bride. vlogging it. I can't wait to watch this back. It's like, guys, my voice is gone. My God, imagine this, right? Like, she's not friends with her anymore. She has to rewatch this. Um, because I don't think she got anyone else to film anything. I know she had a photographer. Gabby's going to be in this for the rest of her life. <laughs> ben screaming. Um, we had so much fun. It was the best. Oh, was I so can't fun. wait to watch all this back because like that went by in the blink of an eye. It really did though. It um, really was like it was. It's like over. I can't believe it's over already. It went by way too fast. But like the vlog lives on forever. So oh. always shout out to Gabs for vlogging. And yeah, that's exactly what I said. <laughs> She'll be in this forever. The vlog does live on forever. Uh, that's about it. Bye. All right, guys, I don't know if I had much to comment on that, but um, I'm sorry if you, I hope, hopefully it was not boring, but um, yeah, I just, I just forgot how big she was in this wedding dress. Um, to me, a wedding dress that size would have to be about a 26, just guessing. So she's definitely not at this size yet, but she's he she's heading her way back to this side if she doesn't do anything about it. Now, there are two other vlogs coming up that I would like to react to, and I might do them together in one, in one vlog. So, um, oh, not vlog, sorry, in one video. I haven't um, watched them. I have to catch up on them. And we might do that next. So I'll see you in my next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. But the next ones, I have a feeling I'll have more to say. We'll see. Thank you, guys. Bye for now.